Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you another wonderful watch. You know, watches like this, I feel like just a little kid, like I found something and I wanna show it to my friends and like, guys, look at this, this is amazing. <laughs> so the same feeling with watches like this one, like, wow, look at this, I'm so excited to show you this watch. So yeah, quick disclaimer, my hand is a little bit too small for this watch. I usually like small watches because small watches tend to look more classier, more elegant, but I just like watches, you know, and the watch is small, it's big, if it's a nice watch, it's a nice watch, I like it, and this one is a nice watch, it's like it's nice, nice watch, it's like double nice, it's, it's that nice, I mean, if you have bigger hands, or you just like bigger watches, or nice watches anyway, stay. I, I, I want to show you this, it's, it's amazing, it looks amazing, I mean, I don't even think that this watch would look this good if it was smaller, I mean, it would probably look a little bit too busy, too cramped, and at this size it looks just, just good, it's just nice, <laughs> enough of negative space, everything is just, we'll talk about that, okay, wonderful. Let's start with negative points. You know, the first negative point is the original strap. The problem with it is that it is super stiff. It's very stiff. It doesn't feel right at all. It's like, it's, it's bad. It's just bad. Maybe the problem is that my hand is small and it has to bend a little bit more. If you have bigger hands, you might not have this problem as I do and my might gonna sit nicer on your hand, but I don't know, maybe I need to massage it a little bit out, to flex it out, uh, it just feels very stiff. And it is such a shame, because it looks wonderful, it looks wonderful with this watch. The design with the strap on this watch just flows so nicely, the colors, the design, and this buckle, even though it's very simple, brushed buckle, but it's thick metal. It feels so solid, it is so solid, it fits the theme of this watch so well. So I'm just so annoyed because it is so nice and it feels so bad. It's... Why? <laughs> yeah, so that's the negative thing. Another... I tried finding negative things about the watch itself, but the thing is, everything comes together so well. I, I don't see any quality control issues. Nothing, no discoloration, nothing mismatches, nothing out of place, everything is aligned very nice. I mean, I, I'm so impressed, especially at this price level, I was expecting like, oh my god, these numbers and index is gonna be all over the place. And in real, I don't know if I got lucky or what, but it, I can't really f think of any negative points about the watch itself. It's amazing. So if I already mentioned the price, I paid 77 euros for this watch. In my opinion, any watch you get with this Seiko NH35A movement, if you pay for that watch less than 100 euros, it's a great deal, in my opinion. Because this movement is just years ahead of any other movements at this price level. I mean, these uh, Seagull movements, Miyota movements, Chinese no-name movements, they all have one very big problem. The rotor on these movements winds the watch only in one direction and in another direction the rotor spins freely like a fidget spinner and makes a noise and it's just annoying, it just feels cheap and nasty in most cases. And there were situations where I actually disassembled the watch, took the rotor off, lubricated the bearings and now it's fine, now it's okay. But I mean, that's just not good. And there are no problems like this with these Seiko movements. It winds the watch in both directions. So the rotor is not f spinning freely like crazy. This, and I had plenty of watches with this Seiko movement. No issues whatsoever. Wonderful movement. If you get a watch for under 100 euros with this movement, it's a great deal. And on top of that, this has a sapphire crystal. I mean, 77 euros, this moment, and you have to get sapphire crystal. It's, an, it's incredible. So for me, the biggest attraction to the watch is the dial. 
Oh man, it's the dial. It's in, it looked good even in pictures, which is a rare thing. Usually watches look good in person, but in pictures it's just eh, because you don't really see a 3D effect in pictures or videos. But I mean, this is so bold. These numbers and indexes are so thick. And they are so nice. <laughs> and they are so thick that they actually cast a little shadow on the dial itself. It looks so impressive in person, I'm telling you. And another thing, these indexes and numbers, they have this little silver cut in the middle. And in certain angle, in certain lighting conditions, it pops out so much and sprinkles sparkles like, oh my gosh. This is one of those watches, when I wear this watch, I don't check out the time. I check the watch from time to time. I just, you know, lighting condition changes or something. I just want to look at the watch and I look at the watch. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And I need some time to take it in. It's like, it's, it's that good. It's that good. And this little red tip on the second hand is like, this is the only strong color throughout the watch. And just a little and off the second hand and just makes the look, makes the watch. Another interesting thing, this is not a screw down crown, but it's a wonderful crown. It's the, the best crown actually seen. It's, it's so wonderful to play with this crown. It has such a wonderful, nice grip on it. And I'll tell you a little interesting story. You know, I have a bunch of watches sitting in a drawer waiting for a review. Uh, in the evening, I just usually take my watches out and play with them. And I haven't worn this watch for two months, maybe it was waiting in line for review, right? But what was interesting, I set the time on this watch. And when the time came to do a review, I took this watch out and it shows correct time. You know why? Because I just love playing with this crown. <laughs> I like, I set the time. And every evening when I play with my watches, I take this watch and I just don't even feel that I actually wind the watch. So the whole this, whole this time it was sitting in my drawer, it was actually going just because I like playing with the crown. So it, it was all the time wind up. <laughs> that's, that's how good this crown is. Another positive thing which I would like to mention is the finishing of the case. It is very nice. It has brushed surfaces that transition very nicely into polished surfaces. These angles are very nicely polished and then they transition into these very nicely brushed sides of the case. I mean, I could even compare it to Casio edifice cases. I mean, Casio edifice finishing of the cases is like up there. That's the top level. It's like incredible. It's not that good, but the thing that I have even mentioned that it looks a little bit like something like Casio Edifice case, it's a very, very big positive thing. I just wanted to show you how it looks like on this original strap once again. It's really a shame that it's uncomfortable because it looks really good. Also, just for fun, this is a full solid bracelet which I took from Adidas Dive uh, Seiko Tuna Homage. It looks interesting, feels rather heavy, I must say. And uh, this is next to each other. Pay attention how big the beret actually looks like next to the Seiko Tuna Homage. And for the most part, I was wearing this watch with this silicone strap. Extra comfortable, has big holes, very good in hot days doesn't slide very grippy good okay so i'm really excited about this watch it's amazing watch so what are conclusions where i gonna put this watch on my website thomaswatchreviews.com it's a keeper it's a very strong keeper i really highly recommend this watch if you have bigger hands if you like bigger watches if you like pilot style watches i mean it's amazing like wow wow, wow. i'm very impressed and this green dial, which I haven't mentioned yet, it does look so good in certain lights. It like, oh my God, I, ho <laughs> I hope I have succeeded in these beauty shots to show you at least half of the view, how it looks good in person. It's very, very good. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.